so hello everyone uh, in this tutorial i am going to integrate the ck editor 4 okay so you, as you can see here this is ck editor 4 and i am going to edit this ck editor uh, integrate this ck editor 4 with uh, view 3 using composition api uh, if you are not familiar with just check it out and mostly uh, so ck editor 4 npm package is available but it is available only for Vue.js 2 so there is no npm packages for Vue 3 right now so uh, in the in the so we can now i am going to show how we can integrate the ck editor 4 with the Vue 3 and first of all go to their website just download any of the standard package any of the package here over here i prefer the standard package to be downloaded okay so i have downloaded it and after downloading you can get a zip file and just uh, extract the zip file uh, under the public folder okay so in this tutorial i am assuming uh, that you already are familiar with the view cli and how to create projects with the view using view cli so this public folder is created by the view cli itself and go to the index.html and just refer the ckeditor.js okay just include that script uh, which will be found under the ckeditor folder itself whenever you extract that uh, ckeditor folder okay so so uh, let's start with creating a component and name it editor ckeditor Okay, my mistake. Editor dot view. Okay, and so uh, first of all, CK editor. What CK editor does needs is a text area. Okay, and we have to pass a name which would be let's say editor 1 and id as an attribute so we and this can be unique but uh, for now it's uh, just for the example of sake of example okay so now we are going to import a uh, view this view uh, so we let it be for now so ck this is the name as you all know and this is props and it's more let it be content okay and setup so as i have said here i am going to use composition api so maybe if you are not familiar with it uh, just check it out that's not that hard and this is how you pass as a prop inside the setup function uh, so because this uh, setup does not have a this axis okay this value over here so we have to just okay so let's create a content so this content is just a ref value okay of props dot content so what is this prop dot uh, what is this prop content uh, so basically it's uh, the initial content which can be passed to the ck editor by the parent component so we will make it dynamic means it will give a dynamic feel okay and uh, so what is this ref uh, so ref is very reactive value uh, it's uh, how we define variables in view 3 so it is available to the template but right now it's not needed but uh, we need to listen to the changes so also ref uh, listen to the changes and updates the value over the time okay so this content will be uh, every time updated whenever the prop is updated from 
the parent component okay and so so let us ck ck editor equals to sorry not now but the, on the opening okay so on mount so on mount is a lifecycle hook uh, which uh, is the just a uh, lifecycle hook which uh, which is invoked when the component is mounted and we are passing in a callback function over here and inside then within this function we are going to tell whatever uh, operations we want to be performed okay so initialize seek editor first seek editor okay so ck editor equals to window so window dot ck editor dot replace dot uh, sorry uh, we would pass a name over here editor one this is the name which will be uh, ck editor will be focusing okay so uh, why window dot ck editor because uh, as you can see we have injected this uh, script so it is now available to the window object okay so window dot sorry uh, this is how we initialize and let's import it uh, to the main component so import okay sorry components ck editor dot view ck editor okay so see what we are able to hear okay so classic editor is assigned but never used okay let's solve this issue for now let's comment it So we have to pass I think so content okay so we have to pass this content okay by the way this set data is just a method setting data oh, okay as you can see here but why is there so many okay might be cash issue or something okay uh, so as you can see over here we are able to set up uh, CK editor 
so this is the ck editor 4 and let's put the source mode as and as you can see the source mode full screen mode okay and let's just insert the table over here okay this is format this is symbols let's insert the symbol yes as you can see that it's working so uh, what if we need to get the data from the ck editor so uh, you are getting this point uh, this line okay ck editor is just uh, we are setting the data initial data whatever means uh, so currently we are not passing any props so it might be taking an as empty string okay and on change event on change event ck editor dot on change Have a function on change what we can do is uh, okay just emit an event for now uh, let's emit is uh, name it send content okay and ck editor dot get get data okay so it's passing ck editor and data so yeah we are going to need this at send content and we are going to pass a function get content okay and uh, we have to declare a function over here const send uh, get content well um, we will get it as a parameter inside the parameter well okay and um, let's pass this function so uh, so you might be familiar with the event emitters in the view so let's see how it works suppose I'm changing any data okay I need to fix this I, sorry so as you can see here over here whenever I am typing anything it is detecting the change so what we did here is uh, basically whenever the change happens on the ck editor uh, we have a register and emit event emitter this is send content and to auto our comment and just sending this as a data this as a data get data so we are getting actual data here over here and just passing over to the parent uh, as a event emitter so this is the event register and this is the function which will be taking in the single single value and console then you can you are able to see that okay you can similarly you can also pass uh, initial data i think so initial data 
career hello world okay and initial data okay and this content uh, pass the content dynamic key which is initial data Ini initial spelling is wrong okay and now let's so okay, ref is not defined I am okay, this ref I have to import it from the view so as you can see there is this initial data okay and yes that's it and you can customize it in all your own way and i'm just uh, setting the basic uh, example here how to integrate a uh, ck editor 4 so yes and also uh, if you want to watch over the content uh, means whatever the content is uh, changing then you can also use a watch method as like this watch content and its first parameter is the object itself uh, object which we needed to watch object or data which we need to watch okay and passing and conditions if ck editor dot value is not equal to sorry ck data its content uh, ck editor Uh, we need to use this it's just an addition you don't need to form this whenever you are changing uh, suppose there is an input field outside and suppose here you have an input field and you are just typing a then uh, then this value also will be changed over here yes and this is for the day and thank you everyone for watching this tutorial i hope uh, you have got some value over this tutorial take care